Hello everyone, welcome again um, to another unboxing video with me. My name is Denise. In this video, I will be unboxing, looks big, but it's light, um, the Midnight Muses Lux Box by the Sugar Muses. Um, this is actually my ultimate favorite box to unbox, to receive everything. I love the Lux Box, maybe because it's like a little more vampy type of look or the dark side, but I don't know. I like the vibes that it gives me. So let's dive in. Okay. Am I bringing the right one? Yeah, okay. No, I think I'm okay. I think that label is, must be upside down. But... A bigger box than usual. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. my gosh, this is I'm so super taped up this class. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Here's our box. Oops, and everything flying out. Okay. Okay. So, get some tape stuck on my fingers, sorry. Okay. All right. So, this month's theme, can you look? Yeah, so this month's theme is um, on crossing. Okay. So says the new year brings us renewed and fresh energy that can be harnessed to remove stagnant energy, <clears throat> excuse me, and clear the way for positive energy. January is a time of rebirthing, letting go of the old and embracing the new. Images of rebirth in faith traditions and myths and in nature symbolize the cycle of death liberation and ultimately rebirth. We must be willing to let go the parts of ourselves that do not serve us well. With its roots in the Caribbean, Africa, and European folklore, the concept of uncrossing and using an uncrossing ritual has been around for centuries. Essentially, the purpose of uncrossing is to get rid of any negative energy that you may be sensing from external sources or negativity, you may be feeling within yourself. Uncrossing banishes unfavorable energy and clears and removes unhelpful blocks and attachments. In relation to uncrossing, some will discuss having a cross condition. A cross condition is just a way of talking about an obstacle or hardship, which keeps a person stagnant and unable to move forward. The new year is the perfect time for doing this. If you do an uncrossing, I suggest following it with something to attract positive energy into your life and space and then focus on that. Okay, so that makes a little bit of sense for, um, I always say the Lux box is the big sister to the mini um, box from the Midnight Muses. And that last box was about spell breaking. So this one is about, in theory, um, similarity to uncrossing. So let's dive in. Ooh, the paperwork is pretty. Let me show you that. Ooh, we have a little bat on the paperwork here. And I guess a little bit information about bats I'll probably read later. Dive in. Okay, so. Oh, nice. So we have our two. BOS art prints. Beautiful. I like this. It's like in the midst of like the dark depths of everything, like one little, well, one not one, but a few flowers grow in one little corner with a bright, beautiful, um, looks like a sunflower on it there. Let me see. Whoop. I forget that I, my angle of my computer has to go the opposite direction. That's beautiful. This one. 
with a little kind of like a star symbol. It's pretty. And this time we always get our intuitive picked card. Let's see what it is. It's our Oracle card from the Dark Light Oracle Collection. Oh, that's the back of the deck. And I was picked blessings, prayers heard. If it's heard, thank you. <laughs> thank you, spirit guide, if it's being heard. I will look into that. Um, later on Ooh, so we've got purple wrapping all tissue paper what you say i love how everything's like all packaged up okay so first i just see on top a bundle of sash a navy sachet bag with um a bundle of flowers botanical flowers it looks like if anything, it might be this flower that's on the picture here. Let's take a look-see. Deity offering sachet bag. Is this it? No smell to it. Anoint with some ritual oil, then place in a small bowl and leave on your altar. Contains vanilla pods and angel wings inside of here. That's beautiful. It's all perfectly. Let me just maybe make it clear in my camera. Oh, just drops on my computer. Oh, good thing I have Leo, my cat, in the room, locked in there. <laughs> he wouldn't be attacking us right now. Uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, oh gosh. I've had a busy morning so far. I went and started doing some errands. Um, the new year has been so far so good. Not good, but can't complain. <laughs> oh, they have a spell kit. Cool. I don't think we've really been getting spell kits from them. Uh, tea light bay leaf cinnamon spell card on crossing spell kit. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Chuka, 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 chuka. Oh, it might be on this side then, maybe. No. Sometimes you'd be amazed by how. Oh, it's at the bottom. Ooh. Use this with the uncrossing spell card. Oh, okay. Enclosed in the bag. It can be used separately or incorporated within this ritual. Contains dry leaves, cinnamon, and tea light. I kind of want to see. Dude, I forgot to bring this. I kind of want to see a little bit. Maybe there's a card. Maybe if anything, and you guys, I think you guys can take a screenshot at it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, they have put a little bit of like, not really spells, but more like rituals and stuff to do in the past. Because we have our tea candle, our bay leaf, our cinnamon, and the spell card, uncrossing spell. So hopefully it will come up clear and you can take a screenshot of that. Is it clear? Yep. Take a screenshot of that. Okay. So you can do it on your own. Oh, I mean, cinnamon is... You can kind of get these ingredients anywhere. So the main thing is the spell. I will be diving into that. I've been doing a couple of spells since the new year and um, more for like um, blessings for the new year, um, you know, protection, ongoing protection for my family and I, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. So right on top, I just have a muslin bag. Um, I don't see the tea yet. I've dived in enough, I guess. Oh. Okay. This looks. And we have an arrowhead, piece of crystal. Um, looks like obsidian. Hmm. 
obsidian moon pendant. No, oh, no, obsidian arrowhead. I'm like, Ooh, okay. <laughs> this stone is said to block psychic attack and absorb negative energies from the environment. Arrowheads are used in cord cutting rituals and symbolize strength, protection, and courage. Okay, so it's going to be my second one from um, Midnight Muses or Sugar Muses because um, a couple of months ago, I made an online order from you know their website to get more goodies and um they usually include like a few you know a few pieces of freebies and um this was actually one of them for me and but this is just a free um piece to just like put on display and stuff like that and to use but the one that they gave me was actually um for a pendant so I'll be holding on to this as well I love that. In the midst of all the paper crinkling. Okay. Okay, so this might be. Okay. So this is the obsidian moon. <laughs> this is pretty. Just a piece of silver chain. I don't know why take this for me. <laughs> That's so pretty. Nothing really. To cleanse and charge your pendant, pass it through the smoke of burning cleanse while focusing on the qualities you like to imbue into it. This gemstone is said to be a powerful cleanser of your aura and has many metaphysical properties that will protect you against negativity. Obsidian is created out of cooled lava from volcanoes thousands of years ago and has elements of fire, water, and earth, making it one of the most effective crystals for uncrossing rituals. It is also known to reveal truths, letting you know the answers to secrets and questions you have struggles to find answers for. Okay. Usually, um... I have like a plethora of like uh, crystals that are around me and obsidian is one of them when I tend to do my own rituals. So get to know that I was doing the right thing. <laughs> All right. So, ooh, oh, it's in a can this time. A little tin. So we have oolong organic black tea. I love oolong tea. <laughs> I do love a long tea. So definitely we'll be using this. Let me see if I can find it. I swear sometimes you think you would just find these things on the paper. Here it is. Brew and enjoy. The ceremony connects the spiritual plane with the earth plane and helps to ground after energy magical work. Yeah. I think I remember um YouTube friend on here, Stacy. she had mentioned one, once in her videos that she never had oolong tea. So I had gifted her some oolong tea for her yule. Um, so now she gets this kind of loose oolong tea to try as well. So I'm, I'm glad. I do enjoy that. Um, I know in my, um, my family, my Asian side, we drink a lot of this too. That's kind of where I got it from. Okay, so ooh, we have a black beeswax candle. Doesn't smell anointed with anything. So what's also good about this, the black one, is that <laughs> you can open these up gently and you know put your notes of intentions inside when you're ready to do your work and close it up. And you know, anoint the candle herbs on it whatever you want to do to the core optional of course um this was in the box i don't know if i should be i hear something in it should i oh. what am i supposed to do with this Incense, this might be incense sticks, can I? But, oh, Ooh. thought it was an easy open. Oh, oh, that's a new way to put it. 
Ooh. Ode. These are incense sticks. Oh, shorter. Hmm. I don't know. Trick is if I can get them back in there. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. I don't. This blend is hand rolled with a blend of wood spices and flowers with notes of our woods and winter juniper berries. I mean, it smells sweet. It smells florally. The hit with a hint of spice. So I like this one a lot. I'm not too much on the spice side of the scents. I like floral. I like, but I'm definitely gonna enjoy that. So that's for sure. This box is so this box has been so good so far. I told y'all it's like my favorite box. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So this is our uncrossing ritual oil with the same um, picture as the BOS picture that we received. Oh, oh no, it's not aroma. Oh, that is sweet smelling. Let's see what it's about. I know sometimes, you know, you read it and it say don't put it on your skin, but I don't listen. <laughs> I guess I don't have that much sensitive skin. Ooh, smells like, smells like a candy from my childhood or something. I don't know. See the notes. This fragrance is infused with dark currants, rosemary, and clary sage. That's new. And an almond oil base. Okay. Fragrances have been used throughout the ages as an integral part of rituals for personal and magical use. Because fragrance has the ability to evoke memories, emotions, and desires, it is the ideal vehicle for placing attention and adding a power boost to spells and rituals. Yeah, so that's why we also included it on um to anoint candles. If you want to do that, you know, if if you feel comfortable or safe doing so, I like doing it. I don't OD on it though, but I like doing it. All right, tick 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 tick. I think one of the reasons why too I luckily away because of the paper. <laughs> okay, so there is one big item in here. Just wanted to check and make sure. So we did insects, digital oil, candle. Oh, that must be a big item in here. I'm just checking the box and make sure. Or if just, you can see, I'm just checking to see if I missed anything out small in here. Okay. I'm reading the. Oh! I we have a sticker of the item on so I get to see it. Nice. So it's a candle holder for a well specifically a oh I hate the cell styrofoam so little little balls all over. So Sorry, I just wanted to show it to you guys a little clean. <laughs> it's a bat candle holder. Oh, that's so cool.
Let's push it in. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, look at the details. I mean, okay. I guess it has the marking of the person it's made from. And this is the back. Oh, look at the details of the wings. Exquisite. Oh, look at the, there's even details in the ears. That is awesome. And I like the details of the um. That's a fur, right? <laughs> Details of the fur. Noise. I mean, I remember a couple of times, I don't know how, a bat flew into my home a couple of times. You know, in the summertime, we had the windows open and stuff like that. And we were like, what the are we getting this thing out? <laughs> how, how did I not pass out either? Um, but I mean, I'm not afraid of them. I think they were more scared of us when they was inside of our home. Um, and we just like put on all the lights, trying to just like, well, because it was up high, she like shoo it down with the broom, not to hit it, but like to kind of like get it to move if it see the broom coming, that type of thing. We're like, go, go, go. We hit the wall next to it. <laughs> it took it a while to like want to fly out. But we're like, no, that's the direction of the window. <laughs> oh my God, I just realized. So let me take this down so it doesn't fall. So also on towards the bottom of the stand, um, Hopefully I can show it. So it looks like their feet or um not their feet. Maybe like you know how the tips of the wings might have might look like it's a claw. Maybe it looks like it has those those details at the at the base. I'm hoping I could I can show well over here and it's all throughout the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I have a bee flying outside my window there. So if you hear that noise, that's the bee. That's awesome. I just realized that detail. Pretty sweet. Bat candle holder. This month's box features a beautifully sculpted bat candle stick. Sculpted bat candle stick, hand finished in the finest quality black re resin. Made by Alchemy of England. Okay, so that was their symbol here. Place a black candle into the holder on the top. As you light the candle, imagine the transformational energies vanishing all of the old stagnant energy to make room for the new. Ask your ancestors, deities, guardian angels, and or spirit guides to be with you and cleanse your home. Request that they break all hexes and remove all crossed conditions. When you are finished with your ritual, thank your ancestors, deities, guardian angels, and or spirit guides, whomever you have called upon for their aid and help. sorry excuse me yeah so yeah oh gosh sorry the, the her <laughs> oh okay oh yes 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 and i wanted to hopefully we'll come through so here's the bat picture and i wanted to include so you guys can take a screenshot they have a little bit of info on bats right here hopefully it comes out clear on this computer but I'll read it. In many cultures, bats are often associated with darkness, mystery, and the unknown. In some folklore, bats are thought to be symbols of transformation, rebirth, and the afterlife. They are typically cast as a reassuring companion through dark times or a messenger who helps you communicate with deceased loved ones. Greek deities, Persephone, Hades, and Hecate are associated with bats. Well. Wow. You. Well, I truly, truly love this box. Is there anything else I'm missing from this? Uh, nope. Okay. I think, I think that's it. So once again, Christy and Dina knocked another one out this month with a wowzer. Huge wow factor for me. Love it, love it, love it. It's always nice here. Why I love the Lux box. My favorite. <laughs> 
All right, guys. So what was your favorite? I mean, stupid question, right? What was your favorite item? Duh. <laughs> this is my favorite item. Should be your favorite item. But if this is not your thing, and I get that some people are terrified of bats. I get that. Totally get that. I understand. That is me with snakes. <laughs> I get that. But um, what was your favorite other item, I guess? <laughs> what was your favorite item other than this? If this was not your favorite item. Um, you know, I might, I'm going to swing and say, I like tea. And I love the necklaces that we did receive in Obsidian Arrowhead as well. As um, and I really like that we have let me just grab it inside here this spell kit that we got this month as well. Um, perfume, it's still, I like it's not my favorite to be honest, it's not my favorite, but um, I can still use it to anoint candles and whatnot around, so it's not too bad, it's just not something I would probably throw on myself. <laughs> it's too it's too like candy sweet to me too fruity sweet and i'm not like um i'm more of a floral girl or like a, a sea salt kind of scented um type of girl but um the candy and the food stuff not really my jam to be on me per se but you know around the house yes smelling around the house yes that's fine but anyway i hope you guys had fun while hanging out with me um if you don't receive this box, are you thinking about it? Let me know. Share some comments with me down below. I'm open to chatting. Until then, I hope you, put aside. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe and take care of each other. All right. Bye, guys.